Hello everyone, welcome to Colorful Diary. So today is our favorite video of the month. Um, finished pages for April. Um, here I have written down all my finished pages and what did I use and when did I finish the page. So to not be so long, let's dive into all the finished pages. So for the first book I chose this one just to finish it in a quick time because I need to edit and add some other pictures in here. So um, as you maybe already know this is a group body color on Instagram or in you on YouTube too. Uh, my co-hoster is Lovela. So we are all I mean we both share um, finished pages. I'm sharing them on Instagram on stories and she makes the post of the end of the month. It was our page for this month. It's this one. It's kind of picnic party or something like that. I mean there is a barbecue and so on so this is what picnics have, right? Um, uh, this month I chose the page because I had my oops I had my birthday this uh, previous month so I wanted something to celebrate my month and I chose this page uh, now I will insert you a picture of all the other entries that were that were on Instagram and that I was tagged in. I found two more with a hashtag, so it's hard for me to find you if you don't tag me on the picture, so please in the future tag me so I can see the page and I can share the page and I can save the page to share it then on here on YouTube in my finished pages. So now you already saw all the pictures. Now I will share you Lovela's picture because we are kind of body colors but we share this body color with other people too. So we already uh, choose a page for next month. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, here I mainly used uh, watercolors for the bricks, for the sky, uh, for the grass. For this part I'm not sure if I used watercolors but I'm sure for all those, all the three parts. Um, then I went over with my Prismacolors. Um, here I used some acrylic paints, which are from Sheen. And I'm surprised how they are working. If you are interested in um, seeing how those markers are working, let me know. And I will make you a video. So these are the acrylic markers. They are not so opaque, but as you can see, they do their work. Yeah, this was, and this is white Posca or Signo, no, some white gel pen. And we already had selected page for May and it's this one with the mices so yeah this is in four balls if I'm right <laughs> um, 
this book will be in these videos every month so next we have this one my favorite kind of book <laughs> coloring book and i'm trying to finish it in this year i hope i will make it i mean it's a big book and it has some detailed pages that are still not colored and i'm trying to make them easier with some i don't know watercolors even if even uh, this book it's hard to, to color in it with watercolors so now i switch to pastels and you will see the picture when i use pastels so yeah first i will show you i hope yeah you already saw this oh i need to zoom you out so you already saw this um page in previous month because i finished it in previous month and this time i don't know if it was really finished because i think there was nothing in the background um in the meantime i'm uh, i added some confettis and my body color didn't finish her page at the time i mean not at the time but in previous month so i waited for her and now i will share you her page too and my body for this page is coloring bumblebee and when we posted both pages i saw that um her party looks like it's outside because she has some sky clouds and so on and mine is inside <laughs> because it has just plain background uh, some decoration and so on and it looks like it's inside so yeah this is the difference in our pages um and as i said i here i used for the background acrylic paint and acrylic markers all the rest is prisma colors for this part i used um washi tapes as well as here and in the bottom part and this one so i was kind of quick so yeah this is our body page and i was so inspired and i did another page in here and it is this one and here is this is the page where i used sorry my kid is meowing <laughs> um so this is the page where i used pastels for basing and as you can imagine i based all the books and i just choose the colors that i want the books will be and then just use some pencils on top and um prisma color blender so there is no harsh lines and this is the result and i really like it because it was i mean when you saw the picture it was so busy and now it's not that busy as it was so oh, there is a lot of shine i really like the end result so now this is another page finished in eerie now i don't know how many i still have but I hope this will be finished soon. Now we have Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. I didn't color in this book for a few months now. I was coloring with Barbara Color 
on Instagram. She every month she chose a page, and I just I don't know why, but I just stopped coloring. So now I I don't know how I will color on if I will do all the pages that I already didn't, or I will color however I want. I mean the page that I want. So we'll see. Maybe I'll join on some hashtag in the future, we'll see. So I had this page started in February, I think, and I didn't finish it. So now I decided to finish it. I did all the background, everything that was waiting for me swan so the background was done in two layers with some shiny acrylic paint at first um, I wanted to cover this part and in two layers it couldn't be covered so I just left it and do it in the black I used um, Sakura black glaze um, the swan is in prisma colors, of course. Um, these thingies are, I think, a Signo Silver, and here as well. And this was my finished trip. And this month I saw the benefits of having a whip. Especially if it's almost finished, because you really quickly finish a page, so yeah, it's kinda fun to have some whips. Yeah, this is in Magical Dawn by Hannah Carlson. Next we have this one. Um, my Tiny Forest by Dina Steiner um, and this was a body color with coloring with K. I will show you her picture here. I really like this one. For some parts I used... Oh no, some parts just for the animals I used alcohol marker. Everything else is in prisma color and some let's say these are kind of flowers from far which you, when you see only the dots so I did the uh, flowers um, just to make it something in that it's not only the greenery um, on the butterfly I used Sakura jelly roll And oh, for those not stickers, but this part, um, this is yellow Posca pen. On the here, I used maybe you can see um, glaze, you can see it. Um, so, yeah, this is another finished page in here there is I think I have three or four pages left here and this one will be finished this year as well I hope um, it's the smaller book so it should be easier but yeah no pressure when I like to color in this book I will color and when we finish we finish this is, I think, the last body color in this month. Yep, this was the last body color in My Tiny Forest by Nina Steiner. Next we have Circle of Life. I didn't color in this book, I think, for one year. Um, and... I just decided 
that I want to color one specific page because I was watching flip throughs of other people what they would like to color and I saw this page and I don't know who if anyone selected this page but I just saw it in the flipping so it's this one the snail as you can see snail is really shiny <laughs> I used Sakura clear uh, for the background and for the I used um, watercolors this is everything in Prisma colors yeah it was a really quick one and I already saw all the all the color that I want to use I know I wanted yellow flowers and those birds that will be in green color I knew how I want to do the snail and yeah this was a fun and quick one so yeah this is in circle of life by Mel Pomeni. Next we have Rhapsody in the Forest. I, if you watched my plans, you know I have um, choose here one page which is double page spread, but I had one whip in here and I finished it. So here is a lot of um, pencils used I mean different types of pencils so for leaves on here I used pelican pencils for the flowers I use prismacolors here for the grass and for the I think this is lavender I used polychromos um, Butterfly was in Faber Castell Black Edition. Um, this water fountain was Faber Castell Black Edition too. And those purple flowers were Pelican pencils again. And I used um, pastels for a little bit of the background. And this part I just leave left um, white a bunch of pencils used here <laughs> yeah now we are on to where is it let's say it will be finished in this year <laughs> yeah this was Rhapsody in the forest Next we have two pages in small victories um, and for both I used new pencils that I got. First one is this one where I wanted to fix the background and I did it luckily. Um, on this one I used Jolly super sticks and on this paper they are working really well as you can see there is no white spots or anything they are just working perfect so this was the first page and the video is already on the channel if you want to see how they are working and the next page is this one which has a video testing video too for this square and for this square um, here I used um, what are those um,
faber tip pens and then pencils on, pencils on top um, I use Carioca Plus pencils and I tried first in here those pencils and they worked as you can see very well I mean the backgrounds are a little bit with white spots but it doesn't bother me it's kind of cute I like it and I tested these pencils in another book and they are not working there but I think there is not a problem with pencils but with the paper as I said a few years ago when I still was coloring in that book I can show you it's this book from Alexandra Dannemann I colored this door and I don't know what I think about it I like it but I don't like it I don't know I will see if I will continue with those pencils or not but this the paper is the problem this was the last page in the month in this book I have two books more now, so let's get on. Next book we have is Animal Kingdom by Millie Marotta. I was still in some, um, not spring, but Easter mood, and I did this bunny with glittery background. Um, here is the day 2020, but it was just plain, um, plain background with just one, um, with just one color. Then I added some black and so, and I shaded a little bit um, the rabbit and added some whiskers with Sakura black glaze and the glitter I have one new glitter and it's really nice <laughs> so yeah this date here is nothing it hasn't any meaning I mean it has when I thought I finished it but of course I needed to add some little things on it But yeah, this is my another Easter page, <laughs> even in April. Um, next one is this one. This one again has a date, which is not correct. I did the background and based the Aries in. Um, watercolors but I needed to shade it a little bit here I tried something but it wasn't working so it is what it is with the background I can't help but yeah this is my finished page in Animal Kingdom by Billy Marotta and now the last book in this month is this one. As you maybe already know, I'm trying to finish it and I'm really close to it. I already finished one page for, for May and another one is waiting for me. Um, this was for my birthday. I did post it on my birthday too. So um, here I used 
alcohol marker just for the skin. I think I used watercolors for the background and then silky crayons on top of the sky. Here I used some cheap um, metallic pens. Everything else is in Prismacolor. So yeah, this is my last page. I need to finish. Um, one is finished already and one is in the process. So yay, next month. <laughs> um, yeah, you will see a flip through of this one too. So this was my um, all my finished pages for the month um, I hope you liked the pages and see you in the next one bye